Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pat here with Swan Lake Chiropractic. Um, today I'm going to be going over an adjustment for our SI joint or our sacroiliac joint. So Joe's going to be my patient here today. And I can see just by see and feel just by touching his pelvis that this right SI joint or sacroiliac joint is rotated back towards me. So it's kind of coming back like this. So I'm going to put that back in its home. We're going to push it back forward. So I want Joe to lay on your side. This side up, you're going to face me. Bottom leg like straight. Close that one up. We're going to cross his arms here. <clears throat> So this is a pretty dynamic adjustment. Um, we don't do this with all of our patients. So the way it works is I'm gonna pin his leg down against mine. We're gonna roll him over a little bit like this. And then I'm gonna give a quick thrust here. Good. And then that's all it is. That's called a side posture adjustment. So that's one of many ways we can get those SI joints moving correctly here in our office. Another way we can adjust the pelvis is to let gravity assist. So I'm gonna use these two triangular shaped wedges on Pat's pelvis today. His right leg is shorter than his left. And by bending his knees, I can see that the right side of his ilium is rotating like my hand is doing. So what my goal is, is to put one wedge under his leg and another wedge at the front part of his pelvis. And as he lies there, gravity is pulling on his pelvis in an attempt to turn the pelvis back towards a more neutral position. As he's lying here, his legs are nice and even so that I know gravity's doing its thing. I can, in the meantime, work my way up and work on the rest of his spine while gravity does the work on his pelvis. So this is the lowest force way we can adjust a pelvis in our office, but we have other ways as well. Hello, this is Dr. Joe from Swan Lake Chiropractic. Another way that we can adjust the pelvis is using drops. It's pretty gentle as well, like the blocks. Uh, but what we start off for is actually setting the tension of the drops. Each person has a different weight, so the drop needs to be specific to that person. Uh, lift it up, and we're tightening it like this. What I'm going to say is it's going to fall down, just like that, and it'll tell me to tighten it up a little taller. And with this, I'm able to apply the right vector and um, use the right lever of the pelvis to be able to make sure that this align misalignment goes back to its correct position. So right here, her pelvis is going backwards, so I'm just going to push a little right here and there. We normally do it two to three times each misalignment to make sure things go where they need to be. Um, the drop helps by stopping abruptly and making sure that the adjustment doesn't go too far and uh, really sets its place. Chiropractic is great and so are you.